Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's uh, TA, we just have to go quickly here to the whale alerts because there are rumors out there that an old Satoshi wallet just transferred 40 bitcoins and some people say that because of this whale alert the price of bitcoin dropped from this potential bullish pattern to the downside and currently we could be at the beginning of a major dump so if you were watching my last couple of videos i told you that there is a high chance that we could break down to the downside from this bullish pattern right now because we had some very bearish signs especially here the longs versus shorts ratio we had around 80 percent of longs compared to the shorts and everyone was very confident that we would break here this 10,000 to 10,500 dollar and start the big bull run to the upside it was possible but it happened now that we broke out to the downside and now we have to see what are the targets here in case that this dump just began because right now we are having the 20 moving average in the one hour and four hour time frame acting as a resistance and it is possible that we're gonna meet my targets here my bearish targets where we potentially could bounce and then have a sustainable beginning of the real bull run so this whale alert that came out in my opinion was just the trigger for this big breakout to the downside currently we didn't lose any significant supports we are trading now below 9500 so we have to see if 9500 currently is unbreakable so if we go up again to retest here the 20 moving average and we're not able to break this 9500 dollar area then we could be here in for a bigger dump towards 8k and lower so here in the one hour time frame currently we are oversold in stochastic and rsi we are trading below the 20 moving average which is giving us now resistance bollinger band also every time we overshooted it to the downside we retraced back into the middle and then got again rejected currently we are again trading inside the bollinger band towards the middle area of around 9400 to 9500 there is also where i'm planning to open up a potential short position to write it down in case that we're gonna get rejected again from this new resistance macd is now shifted to the downside in the one hour and if we go over to the four hour time frame also here you can see that we have now clearly this resistance here at the 20 moving average we're not able not even to trade above here not even a week currently so now the momentum is clearly shifted to the downside and this is what we have to see in case that we can close another four hour candle above the 20 moving average i think we should be good to go again towards here this bullish pattern here but in case that we're not able to correct back up here towards 9900 to 9800 the dollar i think we're clearly now shifted to the downside towards our bearish targets so also here you can see that the rsi is now trading below the 50 stochastic is coming in oversold territory we could have here some more fights here of the 20 moving average but we're definitely now on the way towards this next fib line here at around 8900 dollar so i'm pretty confident that we're gonna see 9000 dollar again and hopefully have at least a support there before falling lower towards 7700 hundred dollar but this is what we have to see in the next couple of hours and days uh, what will happen so we can also have a quick look here in the bollinger band in the four hour because here also you can see that we're trading right at the bottom so a retracement back here towards 9500 is possible but you see that also the macd is now clearly shifted to the downside so also here it looks like that the momentum is pointing out that we should see 9k and lower pretty soon and if we go over to the daily now we had here this golden cross between the 50 and 200 daily moving average and as i told you it doesn't mean that this is gonna be a hundred percent bullish indicator because also in the past always when these two moving averages crossed we always had big price movements not always to the bullish side very often also to the bearish side so here the rsi now came back to the 50 level which is still okay stochastic is oversold and we bounced perfectly here at the 20 day 
daily moving average so this was our first support to watch here in case of a breakout to the downside so far it hold a support but in case that we cannot hold this 9170 support so the 20 daily moving average prepare to see the price again towards here the 200 daily moving average at around eight thousand dollar and eight thousand dollar is also the price target where i'm gonna start to scale in down to six thousand dollar everything that i took out over here at around nine thousand eight hundred to nine thousand eight hundred i told you to take out now a little bit of profits just in case that we're gonna retrace back down again towards the 200 daily moving average or even down here to the 0.618 fib line at six thousand two hundred dollars so you can buy some more cheaper bitcoins and then ride it up again when we are fighting again the main resistance up here which most likely will be later on towards ten thousand to nine thousand five hundred dollar and if we go over to the bollinger band in the daily time frame also here you can see that we were always trading here at the top area and currently we dropped down here to the middle area at around nine thousand three hundred dollar so also here everything is still okay we could even drop down towards eight thousand five hundred here in theory which still would be bullish for the long term of course for the short term it looks like that here now we're gonna start the big dump towards eight thousand or we're gonna bounce again and try again to break here this ten thousand dollar resistance the problem here also is that we had a bearish cross in the macd so also here the macd is pointing out that we should be heading towards 9k possible even down to eight thousand dollar and finally we can have a look also on the weekly time frame because we're gonna probably close this first time a big red weekly candle in my opinion if we continue with this dump possible towards the 50 or the 20 weekly moving average which are also between here eight thousand and nine thousand dollar so it is possible that we could see the first time a big red candle here to bring also the rsi back into the 50 level and possible also cool off a bit here the stochastic which is now in over bought condition so all in all as long as we're staying within this uh, bigger wedge here in the bigger time frames it should be still very bullish for the long time frame for bitcoin so it means that you will be able still to buy some cheaper bitcoins at around eight thousand to six thousand dollar the important thing is that we are not gonna trade again below three thousand eight hundred dollar in case that we're gonna create lower lows here then things could start to look very bearish because we also could have here a double top formation which is a very very bearish pattern but as long as we are not creating lower lows so as long as we're not going below 3800 everything should be okay even though right now because of this initial start of this potential bigger dump we could see prices again between 8000 to 6200 dollar and this is where i'm gonna start to scale in everything which i took out over here at around 9000 900 dollar and of course we also have to see how the stock market is gonna do the next uh, week because currently it doesn't look so bad it is quite volatile right now especially the s p 500 but all in all it also looks like that here we're gonna see a potential recovery pretty soon but in case that here also we're gonna have another crash and possible even take out these lows that we had over here then i think also in the crypto space we're gonna see another bloodbath so that's why you have to be prepared for all scenarios and if you want to trade these up and downs of course you can do that over on bybit or femex those two exchanges i recommend you because there you can trade uh, from 1x up to 100x leverage so also with smaller amounts you can do some nice gains and if you still need an account you can use the sign up links that you find down below here in my video description because with my links you can get some sign up bonus and also some rewards so definitely open up an account through the links here so you can get these bonuses and please also join our free discord trading chat is completely for free everyone is welcome and i'm doing also the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to join me over on twitch so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up thank you very much for watching if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers so thank you very much guys and we see us all in the next one bye